Hi, I'm Jarrett from Stone Soup Farm, and this is how to plant in a raised garden bed. Raised beds are really good for gardens uh, for a lot of reasons, one of which is that you tend to mound up the soil and make sure that it's fluffier, keep your uh, walking impact in the aisles in between beds so that uh, the soil within the bed is not condensed too much. Planting also in raised beds is very beneficial because the raised beds tend to warm up a little bit faster in the spring so you can get in there sooner. If you have nothing but a garden trowel, then all you really need to do in a raised bed is crouch beside it and either plant something in rows by marking out a row, sprinkling in seed and covering it, or if you are planting more specific plants, then you can dig out little holes in the raised bed put your seed in and cover them back up again. Uh, the raised bed is really nice because it's very fluffy and it's really easy to work with when you're planting. If you have um, starts, like from flats or cells, then you can make slightly larger holes, plop them in or just pull the soil away and plop it in, cover it back up. And the raised bed is really, uh, it's really nice for going quite quickly with that. If you are fortunate enough to have a common garden seeder, such as this one, then that makes life a lot easier for you. You put your seed in the hopper there. And keep in mind that you always want to stand beside it because you don't want to step on the raised bed. You can move this through the soil. And it should plant your seeds at about the right spacing in the raised bed. Usually about three rows per raised bed is good. Something like this. Easy. I'm Jarrett from Stone Soup and that's how you plant in a raised garden bed.